Hey guys, Chad here with Canine Revolution Dog Training. Today we're going to be talking about six steps to train your dog. Now, even though we're going to go through these six steps here pretty quickly, just don't forget you're going to need to take your time. You're going to need to put in the consistent and repetitious work to make these steps executable for achieving your goals with your dog. All right, so step one of training your dog is going to be establishing engagement and establishing proper leash pressure work with your dog. So engagement is building up sustained focus and eye contact on you, the owner or the handler. The way you're gonna do that is, you're gonna take your dog out to your training area on a leash. Anytime your dog gives you eye contact, you're gonna say yes, you're gonna back up, you're gonna let them have a food reward from you. The other option is to say good, step to them and give them a food reward when whatever position they're in, okay? That's how you're gonna build up engagement. You're gonna increase your criteria for achieving that engagement as time goes on. Once you have that engagement done, you need to make sure that your dog is properly responding to a leash. So all you're gonna do for that, you're gonna have your dog on a leash. You're gonna put gentle leash pressure into your dog, gentle pulling on that leash. Your dog might resist that leash pressure just a little bit. As soon as they step towards the leash, that's when you're gonna say good and give them a food reward. This is gonna teach your dog how to properly respond to the leash and move with the leash instead of against it. Step two of training is gonna be establishing your obedience work. Now there's a couple ways you're gonna to wanna to make sure you handle this properly. First of all, you wanna get the muscle memory for that obedience work very comfortable for your dog. So all you're gonna do, you're gonna have a food lure. Take the food lure in your hand, move your hand towards your dog's nose. Once your dog's nose is smelling that food in your hand, you're then gonna move your hand and move your body and begin to shape or create the different obedience positions for your dog to move into. You need your dog comfortable moving into a sit, into a down, staying down for a period of time, coming to you when called, and walking next to you on your left side. Those are the basics. Get your dog comfortable with those with uh, food lures and reward your dog when they're doing that very comfortably. Once that's comfortably done, then you're gonna to need to put a command on top of that reward. You have to classically condition that. So you're gonna say down, then you're gonna do your food luring into a down position, for example. Do that for repetitions until you can say down and your dog lays down on its own without any food lure. You'll need to do that for each of your obedience positions and all of your obedience work before you proceed to the next step. Once your dog has all of their obedience down, you can give a verbal command and your dog's doing that obedience. Now it's time to start layering into accountability and corrections for disobedience. The way you're gonna do that is have a leash on your dog with some type of training collar. We prefer fur saver training collars for this, right? We have a leash and collar on our dog. We ask our dog to do one of those obedience positions, a sit for example. If our dog does not sit, we say no. We gentle tug on the leash to communicate to the dog that there's some form of correction or accountability for not doing what you're asked to do. If they do it your, what, they, what they're supposed to do after that correction, say good and reward them because now you're also teaching them that a correction isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's just a simple communication method between you and your dog. You'll need to do that for every single obedience position and behavior that you've taught your dog. Once that's done, you're gonna to need to do remote collar conditioning if you're gonna have your dog off leash and if you want the freedom to let your dog be a dog with the safety of making sure that they're safe and under verbal control with that remote collar communication. Once you complete your remote collar conditioning, once you complete your leash corrections, leash accountability teaching to your dog, your dog will have a clear understanding of paying attention to you, giving you eye contact, how to follow a leash, all the obedience positions that you want them to do. They'll know what happens if they disobey you. So now it's time to start scenario-based training with your dog. You're gonna take your dog out into areas that you want to do things with them, like a park, a shopping center, a hardware store, a restaurant, farmer's market, beach. You're gonna to go to these types of places and you're gonna train with your dog there when you're not trying to do other things. So you take your dog there, you go for a walk. You take your dog there, you do some obedience work. You're making sure your dog's understanding how to behave in these situations. So for example, if there's people walking by and they're wanting to, to try and pet your dog, have your dog sit before they get pet. 
If your dog tries to jump, say no, give them a correction, tell them to sit. Once they sit, then they can get pet. So now they're learning how to interact with different environments and also walking, walking through these types of places. There no, there's no leash pulling. Your dog walks next to you on your left side. If they decide to pull on the leash, that's no correction. Then your dog's back on your left side. You're rewarding them for being there. You're gonna do that for every single scenario possible that you wanna take your dog into. That's also gonna help you with your socialization work. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and our discussion on training your dog. Look forward to seeing you guys in our other videos and other content. Please drop us a comment below if there's something that we missed or something you want us to talk about.